The head of Germany's Federal Office for Migration and Refugees says he expects up to 300,000 migrants to arrive in the country this year. In an interview with the Bild am Sonntag newspaper, Frank Jürgen Weiser said his office would struggle if more people came, but said he was confident that the number of new arrivals would remain within the estimate. Over a million migrants from the Middle East, Afghanistan and Africa arrived in Germany last year. What does this mean for Germany and indeed uh, the country's politics? Uh, let's uh, speak to Professor Christian Dus Dussman, the Director of the Centre for Research and Analysis on Migration at the University of London. 300,000, I mean, a significant drop from last year, a, a, a million. Is this, though, sustainable, do you think, politically for Angela Merkel and indeed for the country? Well, as you say, 300,000 is a dramatic drop compared to last year. Uh, and Weiser, in his statement, suggested that the numbers may actually be even lower. He also suggested that the one million uh, who arrived last year may actually be coming down as well because of double counting. So, in a way, this is a relief for Angela Merkel and the situation uh, of refugees in Germany. There is, or people describe it as, as, as the war guilt, really, for, uh, for Germany in terms of wanting to allow people in who have no, uh, no safe place, uh, no, no, no safe home. Uh, politically, though, this is feeding into right-wing politics uh, as well. How damaging do you think is that perception for Angela Merkel? Well, she had some difficulties over the last uh, month and possibly, well, over the last year. Um, to defend her policies, uh, not just from right-wing parties, but also from uh, mainstream parties. Uh, overall, however, I think that um, there is still a lot of sympathy uh, for her policies. Uh, she has to be very careful, however, how the numbers will develop in the future. Uh, these 300,000 are certainly a relief, uh, and we all very, very much hope uh, that the source of all what we are seeing happening at the moment, which is the conflict in the Middle East, and in particular uh, the conflict in Syria, uh, will soon abate so that possibly some of those who saw the refuge in Germany can actually be relocated. And of course it, it hasn't helped, has it, with Islamic State inspired attacks, if not actually by Islamic State themselves, in, in France and indeed in, in, in Germany in recent months. That is very true. So there is a lot of concern. Uh, however, the numbers are quite interesting. Uh, the uh, um, attacks which we have seen in France uh, were uh, instigated by people who have actually been born in France, while in Germany uh, attacks by Islamic State have been uh, very minor uh, so far. So we very much hope this will remain like that. Whether uh, Islamic State will rely on people who uh, come as refugees or simply uh, fake passports uh, is, of course, another issue. How, uh, how, how much fundament these concerns really have is, 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 is a very different issue. Okay, uh, Professor Christian Dussman, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us on the programme. You're watching uh, BBC World.